What's going on everybody? Crazy Dog back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the David Savard trade that became official about an hour ago. Of course, I went live for about an hour waiting to see uh, when this trade would become official so I could get my instant reaction. But of course, um, we got a whole lot of nothing. And this deal actually became official about a half hour Maybe just a little over a half hour after I ended my stream. And um, shout out to Pierre Lebrun, who is an insider with TSN, as he actually broke it down into three trades. As you can see right here. Trade number one has the Blue Jackets trading Savard to Detroit for Brian Lashoff, who is an AHL player. He's merely depth. And then Columbus retains 50% of Savard. Trade number two has Detroit then trading Savard to Tampa Bay for Tampa Bay's fourth round pick in this year's NHL draft with Detroit retaining 50%. And then trade number three has the Blue Jackets trading Brian Lashoff to Tampa Bay for Tampa's first round pick in 2021 and Tampa Bay's third round pick next year. So yeah, there you have it. And then to summarize it like this, Columbus retains 50% of Savard and acquires Tampa Bay's first this year and third next year. Detroit retains 25% of Savard and acquires Tampa Bay's fourth round pick in this year's draft and trades away Brian Lashoff. And then Tampa acquires both Savard and Lashoff and trades away its first rounder and fourth rounder in this year's draft and its third rounder in next year's draft. So in the end... They get a depth player and a really good defenseman. That's a major W for the Lightning. And, of course, we get draft picks. Which, uh, in the situation that we're currently in, we could use draft picks. So now, we have two first-rounders in this year's draft. Now, of course, that would be cool and everything. But uh, this... This year's draft is a whole lot of question marks. We don't really know what to expect because uh, the current situation has prevented teams from scouting players who would have been eligible in this year's draft. And that's going to make things really, really interesting. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if Yarmo freaking sent one of those picks away for a player or something, you know, in the offseason. Who knows? <laughs> you know, but... uh. Not too bad. You know, I think all three teams low-key won in this deal. Of course, the uh, Lightning got a major W. Now, I mean, we still got a we got a good W. I mean, we got picks, you know. Kind of was thinking we were going to get a, a, a contract player, like, you know. But, oh well. I guess that's why it took so long. The Lightning were trying to uh, play around with the, the cap and everything and try to figure out a way to make this trade happen without giving up contracts. So, with that being said, there's the trade. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And, um, yeah, one of my very few Blue Jackets related videos this year. And uh, I might do a video uh, if Felino gets traded, if it's a big trade, whatever. You know, if we ever, if we make any other deals, I'll probably make a video for it. Nothing too crazy. Who knows what Yarmo has up his sleeve. For all we know, he could pull off a freaking major trade and actually get us something big. But who knows? So, with that being said, guys, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, I'll see you in my next video or live stream, whenever that may be. So, until then, I'm Crazy Dog. Let's go Blue Jackets. And I'm out.